good. And here's what the park area uh, hmm. looked like then when it we began. Looks like a dump, doesn't it? Well, it was yes, a dump. Yes. But um, the, I must say, the management of this project is totally different. This was a city of Cambridge project, and they had done some careful planning, and um, the system of how we would approach it and uh, who would be developing, who would become the abutters was very well worked out by the planning department of the city of Cambridge and the abutters um, are very interested in maintaining the park and yeah. it is impeccable. It, it, this is definitely it's to the credit of the city to make this yeah. arrangement as it was very much part of the planning process that the um, that the occupants and the owners would maintain it. I remember uh, once the day before Earth Day, uh, when the Conservancy is always doing a major cleanup, I went there because I had a group of people. And I went there and I couldn't find a cigarette butt. <laughs> and I had to go to another part of the river where we found a lot of trash. But around there, as you say, it's absolutely impeccable. So the city of Cambridge and the property owners need to be really praised for, for keeping this place so beautiful. So let's look at, at the, an aerial view of that, of that park. Well, this was uh, early on when the trees had just been planted and then I went back a couple of weeks ago on a beautiful Saturday afternoon and I saw families and baby carriages with children and the place was just filled with people having a wonderful time. And these trees, which look rather small in this photograph, um, were, uh, have grown a lot and I was really delighted to be there and see everyone and see the trees so, uh, so healthy. Mm. For me, whenever I have a visitor, I always take them here because I feel this is the essence of what the Charles River, you have people working, you have people living there, you have people sitting out, eating, you have people taking boats. This is really the essence of urban living and I think uh, you really captured this visual landscape, you really captured that, that kind of environment. Yes, these nodes along the Charles River, Kennedy Park could be better, but it's one of them, and the Leachmoor Canal. And then on the other side, of course, Boston University has the Warren Alpert Mall. So there are nodes of open space that link to the river that are yeah. very important. Now, this is a view taken just after the trees were planted along the side toward mm. the, the residences. Uh, looking down toward the city of Boston along the canal. They have grown a lot. They are much bigger now. Oh, yes. Yeah. And this here. is one I, I looked I took this one in the other direction a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing how, how well the trees perform when there's good maintenance. Yeah. And, and um, I'm glad to see that they are bicycle racks because Cambridge is also doing such an exquisite job of encouraging people to bicycle. Mm -hmm. So um, to have bicycle racks is very important everywhere. Yes, they're, they're heavily used and um, they're in a place where people can go shop and come back and the bikes are right there, there in front of them. Yeah, and of course what makes this place so wonderful is um, that they are the, the boats that you can take and um, you also have the, the kayak tie up there um, yes, I saw some uh, young people paddling their kayaks out toward the river from the canal. And um, here, these are, that's a recent picture of the trees quite mature. A couple of weeks ago, yes. I really liked the way the trees framed the views of the buildings, both the trees near and the trees on the other side of the water. Yeah. And. Um, I guess you, you have some concerns about the, the pavement settling here. Well, this isn't pavement. We didn't pave the lower level. We paved the upper level. The lower level is a rose-colored stone dust. And um, the people doing the maintenance have had some problems with the settlement. And they have renewed the rose-colored stone dust. So I took this photograph knowing that the people have explored the, the original quarry from where we got the original rose cover st uh, stone dust is filled with um, buildings now. The quarry is closed, but there are other sources of the stone dust and they have found them so that I, I think it won't be long before the, uh, there's repairs made to this area. Good. And another picture of wonderfully mature trees there now. I, w I knew that the uh, weeping willow is a short-lived tree, but it grows fast, and I knew it uh, would make a wonderful 
uh, part of the whole scene. What a great picture. And then you also brought the picture of the drinking fountain, which is functioning, which uh, we very much need along the river. We're told that you cannot put a drinking fountain in a public park because they got vandalized. And it's to the credit of the people doing the maintenance at Leachmere Canal that this drinking fountain uh, is working. I took a drink out of it myself. And um, it's one of the few because the, there are people there are looking after it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's very important to have those amenities. And um, both the Kennedy Park and the Leachmere area are examples of parks that have aged very well. And, um, and in, in the Lichmi area, particularly also because the maintenance has been so exquisite. Well, we're going to look at a third park that you have worked on. Um, and in case you just joined us, this is the Charles River Conservancy Parkland Show with Carol R. Johnson as our guest. And you also designed the East Cambridge Roadways. Um, and we have a picture of them here. Um, remind what the building in the background was that is that an actual building or was that just what was was that was a generic um, was that a generic building? I think it's the Sonesta Hotel. Is that the Sonesta Hotel? I don't recognize it. Oh well, maybe I'm wrong. But I um, maybe uh, maybe it is the Sonesta. But in, it was a landscape plan, and you you showed the various. The, the trees, the rows of trees. Well, that uh, that was the East Cambridge Roadways project, and this was just a part of that. Um, the engineers, Howard Needles, uh, we were sub-consultants to. And what was exciting about that project was that uh, when we began, um, and we finished this work in 1990, when we began there were, I think, four paved lanes in the roadway running along the Charles River. And we got rid of um, two of the lanes. There are not, there's now one parking lane and one travel lane. So there's about 20 feet of green sward. Well, part of it is a bike uh, path that we put in. But there's 20 feet for biking and grass and runners um, that were, wasn't there. And the, the Schwedler maples that were there weren't doing well. Of course, they were surrounded by pavement. And people thought we ought to remove them. They weren't doing well. And so we did some studies about replacing the Schwedlers or adding to the Schwedlers. Um, and before the final construction, um, we decided to leave the Schwedlers and see if a better environment would make them do better and add a row of trees near the bike path and the single traveled lane. And uh, those trees are lindens. And mm -hmm. the Schwedlers are doing so well that they sh uh, shade out the new lindens. Yeah. And I'm hoping that somehow we can we, get we, some uh, yeah. arborists to thin the Schwedlers and um, the, uh, the rather skinny looking uh, lindens will, um, will do better. Yeah. Well, this is wonderful because I, um, our, our volunteers, we have 2,500 volunteers and, and many people love to come out in the winter to do tree pruning. So we would often, we would prune those trees so they wouldn't hurt the bicyclists and the people who mm -hmm. walk mm -hmm. going by. Well, you can see in this picture the, uh, the roadway the, and the parking lane and then the bike, uh, paved bike trail. And then we have this wonderful area of grass that they jog on. There's, that's the jog in the dirt jogging trail. And, and the, the Schwedler maples that they thought they had to remove, you can see, are doing fine. Doing very well. 